The Astros are an interesting team because they started off so terribly this year. Like they were, it's, I thought they weird. were cooked. Like I was yeah. like, which is weird because they're the Astros. It's a good team. Like you look at the roster and it's like, this team should be pretty good. Um, and they started off just not good at all. Um, but then their veterans started clicking and, and performing the way that they should be. Like Alex Bregman was somebody who got oh. off to just a, an awful start. And now right. Alex Bregman's doing Alex Bregman things. But like, it's also funny that they start off really, really bad. And then like, it felt like their turnaround came when they got the, like the rash of injuries to like all their pitching, mm-hmm. which is crazy. You know, like, again, you think they're cooked and it's like, Oh, this guy goes down. That guy goes down. Now they're really cooked. It's like, no, we're back in it. <laughs> but you look at their IL and like, they have an entire major league rotation on the IL right now. Yeah. Luis Garcia, Christian Javier, Lance McCullers, Jose Urquidy, and Justin Verlander all on the IL. That's a whole entire starting rotation. And good. Yeah. <laughs> like that's a like you put those five guys on a team and it's one of the best rotations in baseball. That's, and what yeah. do they do? They just go out there and you know they still have Framber Valdez. Ronel Blanco comes out of nowhere. Um, he threw a, a, a no hitter earlier this year, got suspended for some sticky stuff earlier this year, but like he's <laughs> having a hell of a season. I mean, he's an Astro. Um, Hunter Brown, a, another guy who was a rookie, I think last year, but he's having a, a great season. Then they, they, you know, they call up Spencer Aragetti and he's, he, yeah, he's been fine. Um, ERA is a little high, but like, do you like the numbers on him? Um, and then, you know, Jake Bloss. Another guy they call up who, again, hasn't pitched well, but he's he's in that rotation, too. So the Pirates will see Jake Bloss tonight against Paul Skeen. So overall, you've got to like that matchup. Jake Bloss, he's made three starts. He has a 6.94 ERA. Um, he's striking some people out, but he's walking some people. He's given up a ton of home runs, a ton of home runs. So that has been that has that been his be issue. Blessing. Yeah, that's been his issue. Um, but you see you see Bloss on uh, uh, tonight on Monday. You see Hunter Brown on Tuesday, who has put together a pretty good season. Yeah. He's got a four point zero zero ERA and hundred and ten innings. Like he's been he's been sort of a workhorse. And what I want to add to that is since June first, he's got a two oh seven ERA. He's eight and one in his ten starts. Yeah. He's Brown's been, been really good. Really. Brown's been really good lately. And then you've got from Valdez, who has also had a really good season and he's been really good lately too. Yeah. So yeah, you got to win tonight. Two, like, seven, tonight looks, ERA. Yeah. In tonight's the 10. game where tonight's the game where it's like, you got, you got to win this one. Paul Skeens versus Jake Bloss. Bloss is a righty. He's 23 years old. Um, yeah. You got to win that game. Uh, and then you've got to figure out a way to win one of Tuesdays and Wednesdays. You've got Falter probably starting Tuesday. Right now it's a TBA game. But you got to imagine Falter is coming off the IL. So you're either going Ortiz again, or you're going Falter, or you're going like a mixture of Ortiz and Falter. Um, and then they've got Perez going again on Wednesday. That's if Perez is still on the team so far. on Wednesday too. <laughs> Right, so, so far. Yeah, yeah so... Uh, and to answer Zach's question, uh, Bloss is a righty. Yep. So it's but, uh, it's an interesting series. Tonight is like the game where you're like, you got to win tonight. Paul Skeens versus Jake Bloss. Um, you got to win that game. And then figure yeah. out a way to win one of the other two. And we say that because... like, And also, ironically enough, coming out of the break, everyone was up in arms about, you know that Philly series and then the cards come in and we were saying the same about the cards like that. That's a game. Paul Skeens, you know, you got to win that one. You feel comfortable. And that's why you felt like this team can win two out of three and they don't, but they still take two out of three. This one, I feel less confident that if they lose the Paul Skeens one, they can still take two out of three, uh, even maybe one out of three. So you're right. Like tonight is almost like, this is a very, very, very important game. And yes, you have Paul Skeens and it's a, a I hate to call it that way, but it's it's definitely a more inferior competition on the on the other side. This offense has to wake up. Like, got to give Paul Skeen some runs because that's the other thing too. Like, they just haven't. 
Ironically enough, we jokingly said how Paul Skeen just makes everyone around him better, but it's been the opposite now. This team has not scored runs for Paul Skeens for, for whatever reason. I don't know, but they knew to today. Paul Skeens yeah. is Paul Skeens. That guy is a dude, and this offense is good too. I mean, Jordan Al- Alvarez is just dominating right now. Jose Altuve is there. Diaz, like you said, Bregman's back. This is a, this is a tough task offensively too. But that's what Paul Skeens is. I feel very confident he's going to come out here and just do his thing. And an underrated storyline, too, that I don't think anybody's mentioned yet. Um, Houston is the closest major league team to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. It's not that far away, if we're being, if we're being honest. It's a, that's true. If you are an LSU super fan, which there are many, uh, this is a trip you're probably making to see Paul Skeens throw a major league baseball game. So, I think if there's one cool aspect to tonight's game is you're probably going to see a lot of purple and gold tonight backing Paul Skeens and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, There's going to be a lot of Astros fans, too, who are LSU fans. So they're going to be conflicted. But you're going to Paul Skeens will have a crowd there tonight backing him Um, with which is which will be kind of cool to see because it will be a road game. But yeah, the, a good portion of this crowd tonight in Houston is going to be is going to be behind Paul Skeens. I didn't think about that. That makes a lot of sense. And like I'm sure too, like there's a lot of Houston Astro fans down there because proximity wise. So they're probably invested into the Astros now. Paul Skeens there, like let's go see our boy, even though it might be the you know the other team. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think about I've that. made that drive from Houston to Baton Rouge plenty of times. It's not a fun drive, but it's very, very doable. It's, yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, I um, I expect there to be a lot of purple and gold, and so yeah, maybe maybe the the pirates can do a little bit tonight uh, down in Houston, and and yeah, like I said, uh, expect there to be. I I would expect there to like just knowing LSU fans and how rabid they are, and I mean you can go to a Pirates game anywhere, and you're gonna see you're gonna see LSU fans in the crowd during Paul Skeen starts. So the fact that he's making a start. And it's not that far from Baton Rouge. Yeah, there's going to be. He's going to have a backing there. You know, we didn't say it. It is TBA. TBA. But Bailey Falter was in Arizona. Mm-hmm. No, Falter's so, Falter should be activated, and like I think Falter starts tomorrow's game. Yeah, I forgot about that. Falter or at least some, me. yeah, some, yeah. I think Falter starts tomorrow. Roberts even right. here from from Baton Rouge. But we get people who watch our show from Baton Rouge, so the fact yeah. that you know they're they're diehard enough to to they watch love Paul Skeen so much that they're going to watch yeah. this pathetic, thing yeah, just so, to keep yeah, some there's, Paul Skeen's content. <laughs> there, like I said, there's going to be some purple and gold or whatever they yeah. call them, yeah, whatever colors. I think it's purple and gold. Is, <laughs> it's about right. Let us know, Robert. Also, hi, Robert. Um, yeah, so so good stuff. Definitely a tough series. But again, there's a whole line of tough series that are coming up for the Pirates that are very, very important. And it does definitely start tonight. So, um, Paul Skeens Day, though. Happy Paul Skeens, everyone who celebrates. Especially Happy Robert. Paul Skeens Day. Yep. And I got the postgame show tonight, I think. So, you know, congrats. The fact that I do the schedule, you know, helps in that regard yeah no bias there jim's like when's paul skeen start monday and sunday that's what i'm going to do my shows <laughs> i am literally doing monday and sunday yeah <laughs> i wonder why <laughs>